Hi, I'm Kelly Francis Love, the archivist at the Museum of South Texas History. Welcome to another video about the unique objects and stories here in our collection at the museum. One of the most well-known artifacts in the museum's collection is the 1910 jail. This building is one of the oldest buildings in the city of Edinburgh and has been the home to the museum since 1970. The jail just reopened after being closed since 2012 for renovation. While researching this brand new exhibit, we came across a wealth of information in the form of a donor. George and Sylvia Wells first donated items to the museum back in 2016. They had items pertaining to the jail due to their association with the Cortina family. Nemesio Cortina was the first jailer in the 1910 jail. His wife, Marcella, also worked at the jail as a cook. Together, they had five children, including son Nemesio Jr., also known as Mencho, and daughter Tomasita. Mencho served in the U.S. Army Air Force during World War II, acting as a war photographer. He also owned his own commercial photography studio in Edinburgh, Cortina Studios. Tomasita Cortina was the godmother of donor Sylvia Wells. She never married. When her brother Mencho was dying, he asked for his friend George Wells. He asked him to look after his sister Tomasita. Mr. and Mrs. Wells continued to look after Tomasita for about 20 years until her death. Upon Tomasita's death, the Wells found out that she had willed them her house on Loeb Street and its contents. They sold the house and many of the contents, but kept some of the more personal items that had belonged to Tomasita's parents and brother. Included in the house were the original matate and mano used to grind corn to make tortillas for the prisoners in the 1910 jail. There was also a bench from the 1910 courthouse. These items were donated to the museum in 2016. In 2016, Mr. and Mrs. Wells mentioned that they had original keys to the jail, but they were planning on passing those down to their son. When planning the exhibits for the 1910 jail, museum staff knew that we wanted to use that matate mano in a display. We also knew that those original jail keys were out there somewhere, so we decided to reach out to the Wells once again. Unfortunately, George Wells passed away in 2018, but Sylvia was more than happy to talk to us and invited us to her home for a visit. While we were there, she and her son agreed to loan the keys to the museum for the exhibit. These are a valuable addition to the jail exhibit because along with the matate, they are the only artifacts confirmed to have been used here inside the jail. Sylvia also mentioned that she still has several items that belong to Mencho. CEO Francisco Guajardo and collections assistant Luna Galvan were able to look through some of these items and made some exciting finds. First, they found additional documents and photos that told the story of the Cortina family. This included a biography of Nemesio written by Mencho. It mentions that Nemesio died after a fall sustained at the jail in October 1916, which was a month before Mencho's birth. It also states that after his death, Marcella took over his duties and served as the jailer. The second find was a collection of Mencho's photographs taken during the war. He served in the Pacific during the last year of the war and took some amazing images of what he saw there. Not only the war, but the land and the people as well. These offer a unique behind the scenes look at World War II. The items that Sylvia and her late husband George have donated to the museum give us a unique glimpse into World War II as well as into the 1910 jail. These items have allowed us to take this building and transform it into something more. We're now able to tell the stories of the people that were here on an everyday basis. This would not be possible without community members like George and Sylvia Wells who hold on to these stories. Thanks for watching. Join us again online or on site at the Museum of South Texas History.